Okay. In order to understand what's happening in our atmosphere, in our four layers of atmosphere, we need to understand what's coming into Earth. And then we'll see what this atmosphere does for us. Remember that our atmosphere is just paper thin, whereas the magnetic field, which starts from the liquid core, the outer liquid core of iron and nickel, comes out. We measure it at the surface with a compass, and it comes way, way out. So we've got to distinguish those things. It's easy to confuse them. So I've drawn a chart here, which you should pause and just draw this. We've got sun, our star, and it's a hot thing, and it's giving off a lot of stuff. One thing it's giving off is light, but it's also giving off this solar wind that we talked about in, with the magnetism. So the solar wind particles, high energy protons, high energy electrons, high energy uh, hydrogen, helium, various things. So these particles, if you will, coming in, very high energy, very damaging. And we've got light, ultraviolet light, visible light, and infrared light. We'll talk about what those mean here in a second. So the thing that you want to work on keeping straight is, well, what happens to each of these as they come towards Earth? Now, the solar wind we mentioned before is deflected and blocked by, pause and fill in your blank. Got it? If you just look and remember like that, you haven't tied it up in your brain. So make sure you can go, wait, let's see, the solar wind comes towards Earth and it gets deflected and blocked and we get some protection from that high energy stuff by our good old magnetosphere, the magnetic field of Earth which goes way out there, right? And it goes through our atmosphere in what layer? Ah, we'll see that in a moment, okay? So check that out here in a second. And as it goes through our atmosphere, what does it give us? beautiful lights that are called the aurora. So where does that happen? Where do those lights happen? We'll take a look in just a moment. All right, in terms of light, we can break this light down into ultraviolet, UV light. It's coming in. It's blocked by something in a particular layer of our current atmosphere. We've got visible light. What's going on with that? Let's come back to that one. We've got infrared light. Infrared light is blocked, so the infrared coming from outside gets blocked. Infrared from within, we'll talk about that, is trapped from inside. Okay. What's it blocked and trapped by? And in what layer? We'll take a look. Okay, so make sure you have that handy. And again, a note card that you look at daily, you know, three times a day, whatever it takes. So let's talk about what, this, what the distinction is between these things. What are we talking about here? Well, there's a range or a spectrum of light. All this light through a vacuum will travel at the same speed, the speed of light. So we've got non-visible low energy, something our eyes aren't tuned to. We've got visible light, what our eyes can see. And then we've got non-visible light that's high energy and dangerous. All right, so let me bring this over here. And I'll talk about this. Now pause, see if you can get this. Visible light, do you know a memory aid that helps you remember the colors of the rainbow in order? You might look at a picture, just look online at pictures and find a picture of a rainbow and look, notice the colors. Or a crystal, what colors are they? How about this? And I'll take this out in a second, but I've got Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. So let me draw those. I've got that one. And then I've got this color. Now I can't draw yellow on a whiteboard. It doesn't really work. So that's my yellow. Red, orange, yellow, green. Blue and violet. Now, while I'm doing that, let's talk about memory aids because we're going to start needing some memory aids as we go on. You might call that purple, or you call that violet. Memory aids often use the first letter of a word 
and come up with some sentence. What have we got here? Let's take a look. I've got uh, red, R. I've got orange. I've got, that's supposed to be a Y, yellow. So who are we talking about now? Well, that's Roy. And Roy's middle initial is G. And his last name is Biv. Blue and violet. Okay. Roy G. Biv. Those are the colors in order. All right, so now you know the colors. If you put all those colors together, you get white. Okay. If you take a little more of one color than another, you get different shades of colors. And there's different shades of, of pure red and different shades of pure orange and yellow and green and blue and violet. We'll get to that a little bit later. Okay. So sunlight is sending out all of this. It's also sending out light that we can't see. Okay. Lower energy light than we can see. So what is a lower energy than red? What is before red? or less than red. Well, we can't see it, so I'm just going to write here, draw it as kind of a dash thing to point out that you can't see it unless, unless you're a bug or an alien, remember? IR, that's infrared, or inferior to red, right? Or before red, or infra, inferior, or less energy than red, infrared. OK, that's all that is. And right now I'm glowing infrared. Can you see it? Again, if you can, you're an alien or a bug or something. This is glowing infrared. You're glowing infrared. We're all glowing. These pens are glowing infrared. And they can glow different infrareds. OK, you get hotter, you get a little more infrared. We'll talk about that later. OK, so that's what infrared is. We can't see it, but we can take it to so night vision. You can put on these goggles, and you can see things glow. What they're doing is those electronically, they take the infrared, and they turn it into visible light. Now, you can make it look greenish, or you can make it re look reddish. So electronically, you capture the light that's there that our eyes can't see, and turn it into visible light. And then you got night vision. OK, cool. And things that are warmer will glow more, so you can pick it up. What's less than infrared? Well, micro, microwaves. And what's less than that? Radio. Radio waves, radio light. So when you listen to a radio station, this is not an MP3 player. It's just an old school radio here. I can do this. And this is designed to pick up those light waves that we can't see. So a radio station sends out light, low energy light. Oh, sounds like the Giants. Another soldier or soldiers. Open current. The market for my system. No music. What's up? I need to find the right frequency with some music. All right, so there it is. So each radio station is tuned for a little bit of those radio waves. Right, and you tune into the station that you want to hear. So radio stations send light. And that light is low energy, and they have long waves, it's like a low frequency. In fact, the difference between this is high energy, high frequency, we talk about low energy, low frequency. More, more, more. We'll talk about that later. But these radio waves are going through these walls. They're all, all these stations are here. So by tuning in, I don't draw in those radio waves. They're already here. This is just tuned, so it electronically picks up those waves. And then it amplifies them and pushes the speaker, and that pushes the air, and that makes air waves or sound, right? So light waves get turned into sound waves. 
and radio is light, travels the speed of light, and we can look at little bands like that. Our eyes are tuned to light, but they're only tuned to visible light. So we don't see the infrared. We don't see this. Electronically, we can pick this up, and if we want, we can turn it into visible light. All right, cool. So let's keep on going and do the rest of the spectrum. So we've got the other end, the high energy stuff. What's more than violet? Well, that would be, again, you can't see it. So just for now, I'm going to make it dashed. You can't see it. I can't see it. Ultraviolet, high energy, dangerous. Ultraviolet, more energy than violet. That's what that means, ultraviolet. What's more than that, x-rays? What's more than that, gamma rays? And we're going to see, it's kind of cool, that there are things besides, there's stars out there, and they give off light, and they give off all the stuff, and all the stars come to us. Galaxies, exploding stars, etc. Stuff that's high, high energy might give off gamma rays or x-rays or UV, right? Stuff that's low energy might give off radio waves, infrared waves, and things like that. So we're going to collect all this with telescopes later. We'll talk about this. It gives us lots of clues. So now we know that for our atmosphere discussion, we need to talk about our infrared, our visible, and our ultraviolet light, and what it does as it comes through our atmosphere, what it's blocked or trapped by, and in what layer. And that's the next video.